dear students welcome to the marketing analytics course in this course we are going to discuss about the cluster analysis what are all the uses of the cluster analysis how it can be used in marketing analytics so that is the discussion for today let us go for the usage and application of the cluster analysis in marketing in marketing the cluster analysis is used for the purpose of segmenting the markets if there are number of sales territory or in case of different groups of market how to identify what is the common in different heterogeneous group in other words this cluster analysis is used in marketing to find out a homogeneous item among the heterogeneous area that is the purpose of the cluster analysis hence it is used for the purpose of the segmentation but when it comes to the visualization of the segmentation we have to create some chart and be able to display that is why we are using box whisker chart for the purpose of visualization as a marketing intelligence officer you must know clearly when we have to use the cluster analysis and how to present the cluster analysis to your boss you must understand so cluster analysis is used for the purpose of segmentation let us see a simple example what is going on in the marketing world at present here i am showing a simple table for example purpose let us have there are 10 sales territories in a company and each and every sales territory they are selling different products maybe if from the same company so here i have listed the sales territories then i have listed the sales in lakhs for last four months from june july august september that is the sales details we have selected around 10 cities from south india of course bangalore chennai tiruvananthapuram hyderabad mumbai mysore coimbatore cochin vijayawada and nagpur this organization is having minimum two sales territories in two different places in a particular state say for example in karnataka the sales territory is located in bangalore as well as in case of mysore so that is the regular one let us see what is the request come from the marketing officer for the purpose of solving you are heading the marketing intelligence department your marketing cmo is asking that is chief marketing officer is asking we are having 10 different sales territory how many marketing intelligence officers can be appointed then what are their territories you wish to ask so you are able to give the answer to your chief marketing officer based upon this data we are having 10 sales territories but cmo is very clear that we can't go for appointing marketing intelligence team for all the 10 territories we can appoint maximum 
three or four that is the recommendation he is asking from the intelligence department then on which basis you are going to fix the territories that is the problem this is called request for decision usually we used to call it as rfd request for decision means this type of problems will come from the chief marketing officer you are playing the role of marketing analytics person or marketing intelligence team you are able to clearly say how many marketing intelligence team we can appoint and what are all the sales territories you should be very clear in your views so let us see how we can go ahead with the one so this comes under the predictive analytics based upon the past data you have to predict what will be the demographic profile of all these cities based upon our sales so what we are doing we are gathering the sales territory sales that is the input then we are going for cluster analysis the purpose is we have to group the sales territories in such a manner that there is some homogeneous item that is the purpose of the cluster analysis once you completed your cluster analysis then we have to showcase to the chief marketing officer how to showcase our cluster analysis that is through the box whisker chart so here we used to call it as input process and output input refers to the sales we are getting from the territories process refers to the cluster analysis output refers to the how we are visualizing the your report okay let us see the one example same example i am showcasing first input i have created a simple excel sheet and enter all those things that is the sales territories i have given a code number yes 1 yes 2 yes 10 for the sales territories then the monthly sales of four months june july august september so that is how we created an analysis the excel input table and we are going to find out how many marketing intelligence officers can be appointed what are their territories so now we know clearly our problem we have identified what type of data we have to give as an input we have selected the four months sales from different territories once the input stage is over let us go to the process stage in the process stage we are going to perform the cluster analysis how to perform the cluster analysis we are going to see so here i am using directly from statistics kingdom that is the online resources for performing the cluster analysis if you visit this website you can clearly identify an online method of calculating the cluster analysis of course we can use spss we can use any other thing other tools so from the input of this excel sheet i am creating first one you can see the cluster analysis how many what is the size we are going to get the sales of four territories for 10 4 months and 10 sales territories that is 10 into 4 that is why i have given the 40 here so 40 means the thing. then the scaling standardized we can repeat that one 
Okay. Then I what I am doing, I am copying from the Excel sheet the sales of June and posting in the Statistics Kingdom as the X1 variable. Then second month sales. I am copying the July month sales. and posting in the x2 that is the second variable then august month sales copying the august month sales and posting in the x3 you can even enlarge the columns number of sales territories as well as the you can increase the month also so now data has been given as the input for sales territory sales okay so from this excel we have copied and pasted in the statistics kingdom for performing the analysis cluster analysis you can see the id number or everything okay if you want you can insert the column you can delete the column also whatever the thing you can add the data to any n number okay now input is given i'm going for calculate yes once i click the calculate the cluster analysis report has come it has nicely created four clusters zero is the first cluster so here zero means the red color only one item then cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 so totally four clusters you have to understand that one it never means only three clusters usually here it will start with the cluster 0 because we are given the input like that and you can see this one number of clusters we are going to generate automatic if you give 0 it will create automatic and here it will generate the cluster numbers then the another value so the value which it shows that whether our cluster within clusters the variables are similar or not one refers to the similarity i am copying now the cluster results and posting in the excel that is the cluster result so we have created four clusters in here it starts with 0 1 2 3 so once the cluster results are created from the cluster analysis now we can see there are four clusters of course zero refers to the mumbai only that is the first cluster in case of mumbai this separated from all these sales territories okay totally four clusters so maximum we can appoint four marketing intelligence officer simple thing it is an automated cluster thing so since we created an automated cluster thing we can easily find out how many clusters we can go for then only demographic profile will be same okay now what i am doing i am going to create a chart which will visualize the cluster and that one i am selecting the sales territory as well as i am selecting the cluster numbers copying that one going to create the charts in the charts i am going to the down yes now you can see the chart type yes box whisker this chart i am clicking okay now you can see the output in a chart type that is box whisker one so i am changing the title sales territory okay so now if you see the chart you can easily understand it created one totally four clusters zero is the down so 
थ्री फोर फोर क्लस्टर्स हैव बीन क्रिएटेड कैन इजली अंडरस्टैंड दैट वन मुंबई डाउन द नेक्स्ट लेवल टू प्लेसेस तिरुवनंतपुरम एंड कोचीन नेक्स्ट प्लेस वी आर हैविंग चेन्नई एंड नागपुर देन फाइनल क्लस्टर बेंगलुरु हैदराबाद मैसूर कोयम्बूर एंड विजयवाड़ा ऑल आर कमिंग अंडर दी वन क्लस्टर सो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू विजुअलाइज दी क्लस्टर एनालिसिस रिजल्ट so based upon that now i am creating the answer so first part it is the bangalore you can see in the top there are 1 2 3 4 5 five cities so first one is the bangalore coming here next one is the hyderabad next one mysore then the yes, next cluster is coimbatore you can see here i'm copying the for the purpose of result then vijayawada okay so all these things are in the same line so it means that the demographics of the sales is same in that one so we can have one marketing intelligence officer for all the city okay that is the cluster group one we can now grouping cluster group one that is the segment one we are coming to the segment second segment is yes, coming to the second segment you can see the second line from the top it is chennai so i am selecting in this line chennai and copy yes then last one is the nagpur so in this line there are two places chennai and nagpur so these two cities are coming under the cluster group 2 that is the segment 2 most of these cities the demographic will be same based upon the sales so this is the cluster group 2 okay coming to the next one there are two cities in the next level one is tiruvananthapuram next one is the cochin so tiruvananthapuram and cochin are having equal demographic profile maybe it is from kerala both cities we are creating a cluster group 3 tiruvananthapuram and cochin that is the cluster group three that is the third segment then coming to the only one in the last in the zero category that is mumbai mumbai is entirely different from all these cities so mumbai we have to go for separate intelligence team that is cluster group 4 okay so now we clearly identified the different segmentation this is how in marketing we will go for the segmentation based upon this chart we can clearly identify what are all the sales territories how we can nicely segment so that is the core thing you have to understand so now we completed the entire cluster analysis the cluster analysis has been prepared from statistical kingdom then we bring back to the excel sheet and we have prepared the chart box is per chart and this chart clearly represents the entire results okay
So let us see the purpose of box whisker chart. This is the visualization. How you will visualize your cluster. If you gone through that one, you can see from the top the first cluster, second one is the second cluster, one is the third cluster, zero is the last cluster. That is how these people used to differentiate and create a segment. So the output is very clear. The marketing intelligence team, we can go for four clusters because in the four clusters, we are having a somewhat homogeneous demographic sales profile. Only in four. Four is also decided by the automated system from the cluster. Okay, since you already studied the cluster in research methodology, I am not going to give more importance for that one. I am using the online method to calculate. Then the second decision question is about the what are their territories. So we need only one marketing intelligence team for Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mysore, Coimbatore, and Vijayawada. All these things that is simply speaking, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, we can have single team. Then Chennai and Nagpur, somewhat demographic profile is same. We can have one market intelligence team. Then for Kerala, Thiruvannamalai and Cochin, we can have. But for Mumbai, it is separate one because their demographic profile is completely different from the other parts. That is why we need a separate segment for the Mumbai. This is how we created the geographical method of segmentation. So dear students, based upon that, you must understand clearly what is the purpose of cluster analysis, how we segmenting, how to visualize the cluster chart. So with this, we will conclude. We will meet in the next analytics class. Thank you.